everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And uh, this week, uh, the project that I've chosen is uh, one that is gonna combine two of our newest releases. So uh, this is combining a die set. This is called the Arbor Set, this one right here. And we're using this die. So this one right here. And what I've done is cut it out of masking paper. So this is what I'm using. This is masking paper here. This is from Inka Dinka Do. This is available on our website. Uh, you're going to cut out the die using the white side up. So the sticky, st sticky side is on the back. You're going to place your die in your die cutting machine like this and cut out a die. And that's what we're going to use in this project right here. So we're gonna use the die. And we are also going to use a simple scene. So this one right here, the basic scene, we're gonna use that in the background of the die right here. Uh, you know, when you're making things like this, the background is always kind of a problem. You just never know what to put back there as far as perspective goes. And this is a simple solution to that. Now I've made this really, really simple. I've just used, uh, you know, some uh, greenery back here in the back created this idea of a path because this is a large image. So, um, you know, when you look at the packaging here, here's the same image, here's the same simple scene, but with these small little structures, this is more like a road. And then if you put the people in it, then it really is a road. So now we've, we've sort of reduced that down by putting something large in here like this and creating a little pathway. So really fun to use these in different ways. And like I said, I've kept this really simple. Now you could put some little structures back there. You could all, you know, also have um, some people walking down the path. So use your imagination on that and um, see what you come up with. So we are using this basic scene here. So those two are the are the main images. Uh, I'm also using from the little mini foliage set, one of my favorite new stamps is this little background that creates this greenery, sort of a, um, a little hedge back in the background. Uh, I'm also using now this as the vine. So here we go with use what you have. So here's what I'm using, but obviously a vine of any type is going to work on here. And I try to mix up the flowers, you know, and the foliages and the vines and all of that because um, I don't, I'm not sure what everyone has and I like to kind of mix it up. But feel free to use what you have if you don't have these particular sets. So I'm using this vine right here. And then in flower set four, I'm using these two little buds right here. One sort of veers off to the right and one goes to the left. And then I'm using a long stem also. So now if you have this set, you can use either of these long stems. They will work great. Uh, instead, I'm using this one from the flower, cat, flower cart. And I haven't used this in a long time, so I like to go back and pick things that I haven't used in a long time. I love this little flower and I think it works perfect on this arbor. So I'm using that one. Uh, the filler flower, of course, is in almost all the projects. And then these grasses. So I've just used this one that sort of is going off to the right. And uh, remember with these, you can use whichever part of it you want. So if you want a long, tall grass, then of course you can ink the whole thing, but you can also ink just parts of it. So always keep that in mind. This one also has vines. So if you have this set with these grasses, you can use these vines. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started on this project. So the first thing that I have done is I have cut out my die of the arbor and I'm just going to uh, place it onto my watercolor paper. Now, when you're using the dies, use the smooth side of the paper. It just helps it to stick better and then really push that down. And here's what I do. I take a paper like this and go over the top of it and make sure that that is really stuck down. And then, of course, the more that you stamp on it, the more that it's going to um, stick down to your watercolor paper. So once you've got that down, now you can stamp your simple scene into the background. And I've got it here, and because it's clear, I can see just exactly where I want to put it. Now, I want that to look like it's sort of coming out of this opening. So it's, it's gonna kind of wind around and just come out uh, between this arbor. So I'm not going to ink this side of the stamp. I'm gonna leave that uninked and just ink the rest. Now, because I'm doing mostly foliage back here, I can ink this whole thing in the green, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And I think I will use the cool green. This is number 249. So I'm just going to ink all of this in the background. And as I come around here, I'm going to leave this part off. So just maybe to the bend, I'll just ink this part here. And once I've got that done, I can kind of position this where I want to. And I think, uh, 
this is probably pretty good here. I might want a little bit more of this curve in here. So I think this is right about, about right. That looks pretty good. And you can see this kind of comes around and comes back out between these two little, um, little posts. So let's go ahead now and put our flowers and foliages in here. And you can see this kind of gives us some perspective now. As soon as you stamp these simple scenes in, you sort of get an idea of this perspective and kind of the layout of the land. Um, so let's start out with the vine. And I'm going to use the warm green now. So this is the number 177. And I'm just going to kind of grow this uh, up over this arbor. And maybe I'll bring one out this way. And you want to remember to ink this, you know, a few times. So not just one time. You know, get this in here and get this stamped in here several times. And then we can come up in here and get some more of this. And maybe down, hang this down just a little bit more in here. Maybe something like that. And maybe just a little bit over here. So uh, what, what we're going to do is when we take this die off, uh, it's going to look like all of the foliage, foliage and flowers are in the back and behind it. So we are going to come forward a little bit and add a few more vines on top of the image. So you can see here, if you don't, if you don't put anything into the front, it looks like everything is kind of behind here. So uh, leave some space to do that. So don't fill out everything, you know, completely. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add uh, some of my filler flower here. I'm going to go start with the yellow and just add some of this into the background. This again, remember, you're stamping this multiple times, so more than one time. And let's just get enough of it in here. Just stamp right over the top of that die just right over the top. Maybe just a little bit more of it right in here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and uh, add in some more of that flower. So I'm just gonna clean off my stamp really quickly, just with a wet cloth, baby wipe. And I'm going to add a little of this now in here. So a little different uh, color and bloom down on this side. And this is, uh, so this is a kind of a violet. This is a 676. And uh, what other color, oh, the yellow, I should tell you what color that was. That was a 993. So bright yellow and a bit of a, a lavender or a violet. And now I'm going to come back in and add some water in here. So it kind of looks like a mess. It really does. So never panic at this stage. Um, everything will come together. And just pull the color out, you know, just dab and soften the lines. I always start with a lighter color. You know, and I've got this green back in the background, but that's okay. It will all kind of blend together. I just love getting this yellow into the background because I think it just it really adds a lot. And then you can add your darker colors kind of over the top as an accent. So now I'm going to kind of going back in over the green, just getting all these leaves, just, just touch them all. You're just softening them all up. And remember to always pinch your brush off once you dip it into the water. And that's what I'm doing. As soon as I uh, finish up, I go back into my water, dip my brush, and pinch it off. So that just keeps keeps you from um, getting too much water on your brush and kind of losing your, losing your image. So now we can go into the violet, little violet flowers here. And you can see I'm just, just kind of jumping my brush around, not, not really painting anything. And then just add some water to these, these little vines. And just kind of really push that color into the, you know, into the dye here. Uh, so you get, you get that color into the lines, in between the lines. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're ready to kind of go on to the next step and that's um, to add some more flowers in here. I'm gonna go to my long stems. So these guys, and I'm just going to ink the top. So I don't really need, I don't really need the vine in here. I can just put this in a few times and just get some bright color in here. I'm just gonna move it around, you know, get it in here a few times. Um, I can put some in here. And then maybe a few right in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some water to that and just kind of touch it, just the bloom. So don't worry about adding any water to the stems. You kind of want to see those stems uh, more detailed. So just kind of touch it just like this with your brush. Okay, looks good. So let's go on with our uh, the little buds here. So I'm just gonna add some of these. I'm gonna go with that same purple on the tips, on the buds, and then the green on here. And just add some more of this. And let's just kind of change directions here and do this side. Okay, and the same, the same with these. You don't want to, you don't want to add any water to the stems. You want to leave those alone. Uh, they will, they'll just get too thick, and you want those that really fine, really fine line. It kind of just blends into the whole, the whole image. Okay, let's keep going here. Uh, let's go on to the background. So we're gonna pull some of this color now out of the lines back here in the background. And just kind of come around, come around like this. You can see that little path starting to take shape here. And I'm going to add some blue now into the background. So this is a light blue. This is number 528. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this color. You can also use a 526. They're both very similar. This one might just be a little warmer uh, than the other one, but both, both will work equally well. And just put a little of this color into the background into the sky. Okay, so now I'm going to take my uh, my little foliage here to kind of define my, my little hills in the background, just like this. And then maybe one back here. And I can come back over on this side. back here and then add some water to it these little this little hedge stamp that creates these little hills are uh, not hills but little foliage in the background it just works so great and you always want to just come underneath it so you know in order to make that look kind of look like it's a hill with a little hedge just come underneath it and kind of straighten up that line and just create that hill in the background And you know, with the with the path, uh, you're always coming. You're always coming on the on the um, underneath the curve. So where you would where you would see the hill. So just kind of kind of where you would see it turn like this. You're you're kind of creating a bank, and then you want to you want to create a little shadow that kind of goes across that path, so that it doesn't look. Um, 
it doesn't look so white. You're going to have shadows. You're going to have shadows, you know, from the clouds and the sky. And you just kind of want to create a little bit of a um, texture in here. Don't, don't overthink it. Don't overdo it. Just drag a few little lines across there and just be done. So now let's put our grasses in and we can change up the color. So now I'm switching back to that other green, kind of the cool green, and I kind of want some taller grasses here. So I'm inking most of this stamp and I'm just tapping it in here. And then just bring this, bring this color down and out. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we are about ready to remove the dye from here. I think I've got water on everything. And then we'll come back in and do a little bit more on the arbor. So let me just take this off so that we can now see the arbor. And you can see if you uh, don't do anything to this, you see how that arbor kind of looks like it's in the foreground and all of these vines and everything are kind of behind it. So we want to fix that a little bit by doing something a little bit more in here. So I'm going to add some of this, some of these blooms to the front like this. And I'm going to add um, some of these. This is a long stem. I think I'll put one right here, kind of in the front. And then maybe another one just kind of over here like this. And then maybe just a few of these, the little, um, the little leaves kind of look like they're kind of growing down just a little bit. You don't have to, um, you don't have to do a lot. You just have to give the idea that this, all of these florals are going, kind of growing through, through the lattice. So now what we want to do is we want to make this look a little more three-dimensional. It doesn't really have enough substance. So we're going to take some blue, which is this, this dark blue right here, the 565, and we're just gonna kind of, you know, go along the edge. So wanna just put a little shadow in here, just kind of follow the edge, and you'll see uh, what a difference this, this really makes. You see how that kind of created a, um, a, um, an edge? And this, this little line comes straight across. So it, it kind of looks like it's crisscrossing here, but this actually comes straight across. And then you want to come down this way, just along the edge, just kind of follow the edge all the way down. You see how that kind of created that arbor and makes it look way more three-dimensional. Same, same over here. You're going to do the inside edge with this one. And this one too. And let me hold this up. See what a difference that made? That really, really changed that and kind of made it look a lot more three-dimensional. So I'm just gonna go underneath now, all of these little areas. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just, you're just giving the idea of a shadow underneath here and making this look more like an actual um, structure. And let's just add a few more um, of these grasses to the front of that also. So it kind of looks like it's growing up in front of and behind. A little bit like this, that looks pretty good. And then we can come in and just add a little water to these areas that we just, that we just added. And that is it. That was a simple project, super, super easy to do. Um, of course, sign and date. There we go. And let me hold this up so that you can see it. 
I hope you will give this a try. Try different uh, scenes back in there because I think that would be really cute. And uh, maybe some little structures back in there. Um, you know, I think any of the simple scenes would work. So give it a try. I hope you will. And I will see you all again next week on Facebook Live. I will be on Facebook Live next Wednesday. So I hope you'll join me 10 o'clock Pacific time. And I so appreciate you watching. Thanks for joining me today. And thanks for your support. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all next week.